What's up everybody? This is Herd85. Welcome to TEW 2016. A new era where the WWE is now in the hands of Triple H. This is the Who's August Update mod of 2019. I've done a little bit of editing myself including giving AEW the TV deal early and also a few tweaks on some stats to certain people so you might as well uh, get things off to a start there you go there's the AEW roster hopefully it's as up to date as possible New look WWE, and here we go. Time to book Monday Night Raw. As you can see already, straight away the first thing new logo, Raw is War. This is where the new era begins. Right, so Raw is all booked. Don't really want to spoil it too much. There's a quick little glance at the card. But, uh, oops. here we go, boys and girls. I'm hoping the overall rating gets around 70 because uh, overness is not a good thing on this mod for WWE guys so it's going to be tough to tough to start pushing people as we begin so a random sort of 8 man tag Buddy Murphy picking up the win pre-show work the crowd Jinder Mahal slight injury there hmm interesting pre-show Kairi Sane Asuka picking up the win over the Iconics and it looks like Kairi Sane and Paige do not work well so I'm going to have to remove Paige as her manager here we go into the main show Triple H, Shane McMahon, Stephanie McMahon and Vince are in the ring it's announced due to health reasons Vince McMahon will be stepping down in the day to day running of the WWE leaving Triple H, Stephanie and Shane in charge of running the com company Emotions are high, with tears in his eyes, Vincent Mann thanks the crowd before getting a standing ovation. Vince leaves the ring with his son and daughter, who walk into the back. Triple H is in the ring and has a microphone. Triple H announces some changes are going to happen to WWE. For starters, as for now, the brand split is halted. A new Raw and a new Smackdown a GM will be appointed soon and a complete redraft will happen. For this time the superstars will stick to their brands. Also expect to see some NXT superstars make their debut starting tonight. That's what I mean by the rating 35 for a peak down match. So Pete Dunne defeats Eric Young with a bitter end. Pete Dunne has not got a lot of UK over, um, USA openers, so it will be slowly improving him. Tag team match. The Usos defeat the Ascension. So this is one of my storylines I'm going to be starting up. Between sort of Heyman and Triple H, giving Brock Lesnar a bit of a new look. Triple H is backstage, bumps into Heyman and Lesnar. Heyman says, If you need anything, like maybe a GM, he is willing, out of the goodness of his heart, that he is, to help him out. Triple H nods and says he'll take it under consideration. So that's Paul Heyman lobbying for one of the GM roles. Women's match, 
Bailey over Lacey Evans, SmackDown women's title. Hmm. I had a little chuckle because Eric and Sarah Logan have no chemistry. That would be his real life wife. That's always helpful. He did a sign out as his manager. Anyway, the Viking Raiders defeat Hawkins and Ryder Heavy Machinery in the Revival when Ivor defeated Kurt Hawkins with a Viking experience. I like the Viking Raiders so I shall be giving them a little push. This is my attempt of a 24-7 segment. Elias is shown backstage fighting off our truth disposing of him there down some stairs having survived he's forced to answer a call of nature moments after he's pulled his zipper back up drake maverick pounces and attacks elias elias fights back and slams drake maverick headfirst into a mirror so at this current time elias is the 24 7 champion singles match smojo Nice little win over Curtis Axel. So there's a new storyline and new stable I'm debuting here. Dolph Ziggler is in the ring and calls out the Miz. He comes out and starts fighting. From the crowd, Bobby Roode, EC3 and Mike Kalanis help Ziggler in laying a beating to the Miz. Dolph Ziggler then announces a new alliance has been born. So a new stable I've made between Dolph Ziggler, Bobby Roode, EC3 and Mike Canales. The OC defeat a random six man tag win over Chad Gable, Mustafa Ali and Titus O'Neil. Again uh, the ratings are going to hurt WWE for a little while. They're going to be taking a hit probably for about a month. A month worth of booking. Becky Lynch is in the ring when she is attacked by the horsewomen. And as you can see there, Shayna Baszler, Yasmin Ju, Marina Shafar. So that's them called up from NXT, starting a feud with Becky Lynch. Drew McIntyre over Matt Hardy. A brief appearance on the Firefly Funhouse. The Fiend asks you to let him in. Kofi Kingston, Big E and Xavier Woods are in the ring cutting a New Day style promo when suddenly we hear shock the system. Out walks Adam Cole, Roderick Strong, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Adam Carl says the landscape has now changed and they're here for all the gold. A host of refs and agents break things up before anything goes down. This is the debut there of the Undisputed Era. Put them straight into a big feud with the New Day. This was my semi main event. Andrade over Ricochet. And this was my main event. Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman over Eric Rowan and Daniel Bryan. So they are the current Raw Tag Team Champs. So 68 is uh, not the greatest start. Yeah, I thought so. So 66, considering I was aiming for 70, <laughs> thinking it would be good. Oh dear. So basically I need to improve my storylines, which are only just starting, but to be honest, I've got to get to quite high storylines and with the way the roster openness is, it's going to be pretty tough to get off to a good start, but I have got a lot of hiring to do, so there'll be more debuts on the way in. To get people over. Uh, 
disappointing rating. I guess that's an openness matters. Well, I guess I'm so used to playing my WCW game where I got 88s all the time. 66 is not a great start. I'm slowly getting through all the hiring process. That's what happens when it's big mod. It takes a little while. Uh, a little longer to load. My fans can't take the power. So much hiring. Right. So, uh, as you can see in the headlines, I decided to get rid of the packs I had with Impact Wrestling, Major League Wrestling, New Japan Wrestling, and Ring of Honor. Mainly because I want some of their superstars. Roar as well. Mm, not amazing. Alright guys, we're now at Smackdown. Uh, one thing I forgot to point out, which you can see down bottom left hand corner here. We have a few rehabs in Bo Dallas, Brian Kendrick, Heath Slater. The biggest one for me is Roman Reigns. So, unfortunately I don't have him for about 8 months. Anyway, back to Smackdown Live. Uh, obviously Raw got 66, so I'll be aiming to at least try and top that. I do think it's going to take about maybe 2-3 months worth of building before we can get respectable ratings. Show's all booked, and away we go. Right. 10 women tag match, just to get them on the show to be honest. Talia picking up the win for the team of faces. Sami Zayn, who I do plan to use a bit more regularly. If it's our truth. This was also a pre-show. Bobby Lashley defeating Titus O'Neil. When the brand split happens, I should definitely be able to use a lot more of these superstars a lot better. So the show starts, Randy Orton in a ring, on the microphone, interrupted by the newly promoted Johnny Gargano. They have a little bit of an argument, and tonight they will face one-on-one -on -one in the main event. Randy Orton, Johnny Gargano. That's actually, considering the ratings, probably one of the better ones. <clears throat> bit of a random way to win a match, Cannibal. Kevin Owens, just a simple one on one. Picks up the win. Luke Harper, who I brought back from the wilderness, goes to Triple H and asks for a match tonight. Triple H says he can prove himself against Alistair Black. Again, another random eight person tag. Rusev, Baron Corbin and the Office of Pain over to Zawa, Axel and the Usos so oh, yeah I'm trying to turn Curtis Axel Hill slowly because I do actually have some plans for him which I'm not going to spoil right now hopefully <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura is arguing with Finn Balor Triple H catches it and says they can settle it tonight, one on one, in the Cardinal title match. Hmm. 
about that featured terrible wrestling and non-existent heat, Alistair Black defeats Luke Harper. Not a bad match. Not great, but not a bad match. Cesaro is in the ring just before a tag match and introduces us to his new tag team partner, Cassis Ono. Together, they are the kings of wrestling. Actually, that's pretty decent. Kings of Wrestling over Kurt Hawkins, Zack Ryder. Expect to see a good push for Cesaro and Ono. I like that tag combo. And of course, they have chemistry. Becky Lynch continuing her feud with the Horsewomen. Defeats Jasmine Duke by DQ after some interference. Following the 3 on 1 assault, Bailey and Sasha Banks, Sasha Banks instead of face on this game, make the save. Notice her hair is not blue. This is probably my biggest. Storyline at the moment, Triple H is backstage with Paul Heyman, who's with his client, spelt wrong, Brock Lesnar, who has just agreed a new full time deal. So I now plan to use, well, I was planning to use him anyway. The storyline wise, Brock Lesnar will actually have a few more matches than normal. Matt Riddle in the ring, bro. But before he could say anything more, Kane returns and attacks Riddle. The assault is quick and brutal, leaving Riddle completely destroyed. Classic feud of a veteran taking on a new talent. This will be my way to get Matt Riddle open the main roster with a feud with Kane. Undisputed Era versus the New Day six man tag. Kofi Kingston picking up the win because obviously he's the WWE champion. And then Cole was not in the match, saving him. Post match, Adam Cole gets involved. The classic brawl to the back. The low ratings because O'Reilly, Strong, and Bobby Fish don't have a lot of openers. They're still technically openers. Semi main Shinsuke defeats Finn by DQ, retains the IC title. Main event Randy Orton over Johnny Gargano with an RKO out of nowhere. Ooh, 64. <laughs> yep, so storylines are letting me down at the moment. Again, I just think it would be a slow. A slow build, I won't be too demoralised because it's still early days. Like I said I reckon I can recover this probably in about two months time. It's just all about building openness at the moment. I'd rather build up some of the talented workers rather than push who WWE have liked just to watch in recent times. So, coming up will be AEW's first show soon, which I'll take a snapshot for you guys, and you can check it out at the end of the video. This first video will only be this first Raw, first Smackdown. Just while I start to get to grips with this game. Ideally, I might try and get two Raw, two Smackdowns per video. Or at least one Raw on Smackdown and a pay-per-view. Build hard drive. My fan does not like loading. It always seems to take forever in the first week. It 
we go. Did not mean to click that. So I've got tons of news to get through, as you can see. Boff. New champion in Noah. New champion in MPW. We got an okay feedback. Ah, oh, that's like Gibson's to get married. Killer Cross release from AAA. Scarlet Bordeaux release from AAA. Alright, let's check out the next day. We should hopefully be able to get the match results for AEW's first show. What I'll do is I'll probably go through to about raw so you can see all the news. In case anything interesting happens, you never know what happened to the first lot. Someone may <laughs> Got a few new signings as well coming in. Not just for NXT, but for the main roster as well. God, this bit drags a bit. So much my fan, and I need a new fan. Come on, come on, come on. Totally need to do something for these blank moments. All Elite, there we go. John Moxley, star of the show. So what I'm going to do is I'll take a screenshot so you guys can see it. Main event. Looks like it's Dustin Rhodes versus Kenny Omega on their first show. Scorpio Sky versus Cody Rhodes. I'd watch that. NXT. I think it's a 39 and then there's NXT UK. Tyler Bate, obviously. I'll leave it here. Right, I, hopefully this is the part in between the screenshots, so if you wanted to read all Elite Wrestling's show, you can check it out. Hoping in real life they are decent competition to WWE because it definitely needs it. Just been doing a little bit of hiring, a little bit of New Japan Pro Wrestling hiring. Maybe you guys watch New Japan, I'm also a fan, as well as NXT, it's 
the WWE player. I also like Impact Wrestling. Not quite the TNA days though. Sleeves. Lots of people being hired it looks like. I just had a couple of news I'm just quickly looking at. Right, let's see what's happening in the world. Madison Rain impacts score of 55, Sammy Callahan over Rich Swan. Pretty much real life that is. Can I spot anything other significant in the news? I shall be uh, going for her. Who doesn't like Tessa Blanket? Ah, oh, okay, fire Rosemary. It's like they've just got rid of their women's division, really. Jordan Grace. All three of those women I've offered a development deal for, and it looks like all three are saying yes. It's quite helpful. Alright, guys, we're coming towards the end of the video. Hopefully it's not been too much of a mismatch for you. Uh, definitely a, a work in progress. So for those that have stuck around, I thank you for for bearing with me. Definitely not the most perfect of uh, videos to follow. But we're getting there, we're getting there. Practice makes perfect, as I say. All Japan, by the way. I'm going for two people that I've gone for, so sort of we're in the middle of a bidding war. I'm not sure who CCW you keep going for. Possibly Joey Styles, I think a lot of people keep going for him. kind of need to figure out how to fit out these blank bits. <laughs> Alright, let's see who is Some retirements. Huh. Austin Aries. I forget Austin Aries is a now on W. Yeah, what? Might have a little look see through their roster. See it's worth uh, picking up. There we go, that's a cool bit of news. Should mean he's not quite ready yet. Unless you ask him yourself and they probably tell you. I think he'll be on the main roster soon anyway, in real life.
Well, just signed three new superstars to the roster. You might recognise someone. I should tidy up there. Yeah, so I got bored watching the loading. So I just tried to cut some of it out. I may have made a regen of myself. Huh. It's quite too hot, Ring of Honor. So much news, if any bit relevant. Only 70 pages of news. Only 70. day and then uh that will be the last one mate last one and then it will be raw as well for next week's I shall try and work on hopefully though week one a lot hiring it will progress quite nicely after this episode So much hiring, so much hiring. Well, then it comes to a grinding home. Right, last one guys, before I progress to Monday Night Raw. Mm. Any relevant news to us? Not really, just a load of hiring to be honest. James Storm joins New Japan Pro Wrestling, that's pretty cool. A written deal it looks like. Alright, I think that is everything guys, so cheers for sticking around for the first episode, uh, yeah, <laughs> if you want to give me a chance I'll try and post fairly regular videos and hopefully we can uh, get WWE back to its best, get some good ratings. Thanks for joining me. This has been Herd85. Take care, guys.